Hey guys, this is Abel and I finally got a chance to play around with the new Logic update and uh, now we get Alchemy for free if you have Logic and this is crazy guys just to think about that we get this for free. This is a very uh, powerful synthesizer and uh, I never got a chance to play with it before but now that it comes with Logic uh, it's just crazy. So I want to break this synthesizer down into sections for you guys so you can after this video you can go and edit your patches or create one from scratch but before I do anything I want you to check out this patch it's called epic cloud formation so yep check that out and now I'm gonna break your heart I'm going to clear this patch and uh, start from a default default settings so let's break this synthesizer down into sections uh, so over here we have the sound source section which is the oscillator sections we get four of those which means that we can pick a different sound source on each of those and create a massive sounding patch when I'm saying massive I'm not talking about the native instrument stuff so um, over here we have the filter section we have two of those and this is the amp section down here we have the modulation section I think in ES2 it's called routing section so and here is the amp envelope or the envelope section and down here is the perform section I haven't been able to play around with this section yet but this is the most important part that you need to know so you can edit or create a patch from scratch after watching this video okay right now we are in the advanced window we have a browse simple and advanced uh, let's start with the sound source section uh, over here you can import your own audio and then you can load source save and do a whole bunch of stuff but I want to um, use the basic analog virtual analog uh, classic waveforms like the saw, sine, square, and triangle. But notice that we have a whole bunch of complex waveforms that you can use to create your patches. Let's stick with the saw wave. And uh, let's use all four right now. Okay. Uh, now I want to detune the first one minus 12 semitones and the last one plus 12 semitones okay now let's apply the filter you can uh, pick the filter types so yeah I'm gonna pick the, the second one uh, just turn it down. Let's leave it right there. And uh, here is your drive. No. Okay. Let's leave it right there. Um, here is your master section or output or amp section where you can turn down your volume or Let's leave it right there. Um, down here is your envelope, your amp envelope, where you can uh, your release, your attack, decay, hold, decay, sustain, release. Okay. Uh, all right. Now I want to control the filter cutoff with the mud wheel. So let's click on the uh, cutoff filter cutoff knob and uh, turn this on and pick our target. I'm sorry. This is the target. The filter cutoff one. 
<coughs> sorry and now pick your source which is the mod wheel uh, <coughs> I'm sorry and now this is your depth so see that let's let's lower the uh, filter knob and now let's let's lower the depth a little bit it is where you control how how high uh, the filter will go when you turn the mat wheel up that's that's good let's have it right there uh, let's go over there and then uh, it over here okay that's good now um, over here we have our uh, uh, in our amp section or master section the glide and then you can pick over here you can pick the um, number of voices you can uh, click on all and uh, pick like pick the number of voices on all of them or you can go and pick the numbers on individual ones so let's pick uh, let's just say 12 Okay, uh, now I want to. Okay, so right so far, we're controlling the filter cutoff with with the uh, <coughs> with the mud wheel. Now I want to make this into a pulsing um, pulsing patch. So uh, I want to modulate. I want the LFO to control the amp. So let's click on the master volume and. Um, Let's uh, turn this on and uh, go here, uh, LFO1, now, here's the sync button, and here's the rate. This is the uh, here's the um the type the uh what's this called you know what you know what this this is called but here is you where you can change the type of the uh the waveform the waveforms. What else can I do? Um, that that's basically it, guys. I haven't figured out how many effects come in the synthesizer, or if you can add any effects. Here is the effects uh, section, but I I prefer using the Logic Audio effects. Let's say I want to uh, apply a stereo delay on that. Let's uh, pick a uh, dotted eighth note. Maybe, maybe not. Let's say that reverb, uh, basic reverb. So, um, whoa, that's crazy. Uh, let's lower this. Let's maybe that way there. Ok, 
okay I messed up right there but uh, this is basically how the synthesizer works guys I hope this video was helpful and if it was please uh, leave a comment subscribe share the video and uh, uh, hopefully I can make more videos about the synthesizer later and uh, but that's all for now and see you in the next video bye